Hello dear student, this is Dr. Seher from DentaVest, your best mentor. Remember to study hard but study smart. So today we are going to take a new topic of biostats, uh, types of epidemiological studies. So epidemiological studies, they are divided into three types, as we know, descriptive studies, analyticals and the experimental. So let us try to understand first, what are descriptive studies? So descriptive studies are basically describing the disease, right? That's why they are called as descriptive studies. So descriptive studies are about the quantification of the disease. But when I do descriptive study, I'm not bothered about the etiology of the disease, that why this disease happened in this population. Neither I'm going to track the progress of the disease. It's only about knowing the quantity how many patients are suffering from this disease in this population. Now, the descriptive studies are further subdivided into prevalence and the incidence. So, what is the difference between prevalence and incidence? So, let us see prevalence first. So, prevalence is when you are getting to know the proportion of the people in a population suffering from a disease. It is about total number of cases. So if I say 5% adolescent in this population of 10,000 people are suffering from malocclusion. So, prevalence is expressed in percentages. So, if you have to calculate the prevalence, the formula for it will be the number of people with the disease. It will be number of people with the disease divided by total population at risk. But when we talk about incidence, incidence is about the new cases that have developed over a period of time. So in prevalence, we were talking about the total number of cases at a given point in time. But incidence is over a period of time new cases that have developed. So when we calculate incidence, we say it is number of new cases in a population divided by total number of people at risk. So if I say incidence of oral cancer is 10%, in the males of age group 55 to 64. So every year we are seeing 10% new cases of oral cancer developing in males of age group 55 to 64. So this is about the incidence. 